Welcome to RimWorld. So whoever is treating it will become bonded with the animal, and that's an instant tame. We're back with more mayhem. Now in this episode, I said we were going to take on this Thrumbo here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So I think I'm going to have Sarge start the fight. And I want everybody else drafted and down here. And we're going to have Sarge pop off a couple shots and then duck inside. And hopefully the Thrumbo will, after realizing that he cannot attack Sarge, will move down to the others. Now we got to move a little bit closer. This gun doesn't have tremendously good range. Alright, so I want my bow users in front. And I want the other ones on the doors. Get a few shots off and immediately run away. We'll hang out in the doorway, get another round off, and duck inside. Hopefully they don't break through this door. And even if they do, not a big deal. All right, there we go, moving along. Now we will hopefully come over here to where they are. Let me speed it up and see if the thrombo is gonna come down here. No, not interested, okay. Well, everybody will be getting to bed anyway. So let's go ahead and play, but we'll watch the, the thing here. And I'm going to have Red Shirt play with this thing while everybody else is sleeping. Well, where are you going? You're probably pretty close to actually leaving the map. So let's see. You're going to repair the door. That's fine. I don't really want to go toe to toe with this thrombo with one person. So, hauling wolf meat. Oh, okay, you're going to go jerk some meat, so let's see what you're going to do after that. There's some rice outside, and I'd really hate to see you go for it. Yeah, you can continue cooking for the night. That's fine. I don't think we really have anything else for you to do. This is an unroofed outdoor area. Okay. Yeah, it's going to get pretty hot in here. We don't really want that heat in these rooms yet. During winter, though, it's a different story. All right, you are finally moving to where I kind of want you to be, so I'm going to see if I can't get you to come around down here. All right, perfect. Everybody else, wake up. Move into position. I'm going to let this go slowly. They're going to be a little upset about being woken up they'll get over it and get some good shots in here I hope all right you guys need to get in get inside and doc get inside it's fine you can beat up that door for a minute you're attacking Sarge now uh, get inside Get inside. Doc and Redshirt move down. You're going to get a couple of good shots. Alright, back inside. Now it's your turn. We'll leave the bow users inside. Honestly, they get one shot off. It takes a long time. They're pretty good at damaging with those bows. Those bows do a lot of damage. More, more damage than the bullets do per shot. But if you miss, then there we go. We have downed it. Everybody can be undrafted and can go and eat. Everybody had some food on them, so they all just kind of grabbed and started eating right there. They're all going to get the eight without a table buff, debuff, whatever, but that's fine. So we have a male thrombo here. It's age 90. I'm going to put an animal sleeping spot right here. And... Doc, what are you doing? You're consuming some stew. As soon as you're done with that stew, we're going to go and rescue this. Now, I don't know if we'll actually save it or not. Probably not, but it's a really good uh, medicine experience, and we don't really have 
very high medicine. I mean, eight's okay, but we'll take a look at it in a second, and we should see his medicine level go up pretty high. He can just take the day off, heal this thrum. Oh, you're gonna go play some horseshoes now. I'd like you to treat the thrumbo here. Let's see how much medicine experience we're gonna get. All right, we're at 1572. 1601. Yeah, so we're gonna get a little bit of, let's look at the thrombo's health here. Basically, he's gonna repair each one of these, and if we look at the body, we have uh, 24, 25 injuries on the body alone, and then every other limb has a whole bunch of injuries, so he's probably gonna bleed out before he has a chance to heal him. But we're also going to and I don't know if you need to have this set on handling or not, but oftentimes I've been treating a wild animal, and in the process, whoever is treating it will become bonded with the animal, and that's an instant tame. So if we could tame this Thrumbo that way, that's pretty much the only way I know of to tame Thrumbos. You can try to tame them the regular way, but you better have a very high taming skill, and you better be very lucky. Because every time I have tried to tame a Thrumbo the normal way, they have killed me. But this is one way I know of that you can tame a Thrumbo. In case you didn't know that yourself. Alright, so we have 317 limestone blocks. We are completely encased in. I want to set up the front area here a little bit better. And we're going to start by making these embrasures here across the front like before. And I'm going to leave one space open for somebody to try to come in. And then we're going to set up our defenses like that. I want to leave a space open because the last time we didn't leave a space open. They just went right for the doors and walls and destroyed everything. Alright, you're playing horseshoes. That's fine. You can go do that. How are we doing over here? Still got quite a few injuries. The blood loss is only minor. How are you doing, Doc, for your needs? You need some joy. Other than that, you're fine. Your mood's about medium, so I'm going to let you keep doing that. Your medicine is still at an 8, but it's almost 2,000 out of 9,000. He has no passion for it. That That's a problem. You want your main and something to have a passion for it. So hopefully we have another person join us who is a better doctor. See, oh, there we go. Doc and Thrumbo have formed a bond. Doc has named him Spider. So now, if we can actually save this Thrumbo, that would be excellent. Because we would have it as a pet. And... I don't know. It, uh, it might not make it. No, if it dies, Doc is unfortunately going to get a debuff for a little while. But, like I said, if we can actually save it, that would be good. I don't have any medicine, otherwise I would use the medicine on him but like I said maybe he can save him the blood loss is only at 51 percent and I could count the wounds I guess but that would probably take longer than it would to heal them all hopefully we uh, we get some good heals here 55 percent he has to get up to I think a hundred percent before he dies so and the blood loss will slow down as wounds are healed so like I said, we'll see if he gets there. Right now we're working on the embrasures here. I was working on uh, clearing the roof area off of this in case when I deconstruct this wall, I don't want a uh, roof falling on someone's head and killing them. Everybody is going to sleep very early because I woke them all up very early. You've had plenty of sleep. Oh, actually you're the night owl, so it's okay that you're sleeping. Uh, you're going to go eat, though, and then you'll probably go back to sleep. Now, we're going to let them all sleep for maybe an hour or so. And hopefully they will be okay to, to just stay up the rest of the night. All right, we're at 61%. We got an eclipse, but it looks like the blood loss has slowed down significantly. Doc, how are you doing? You're doing pretty bad. Who is our next best so you can't do medicine at all. You're a two. You can't do medicine either. And Sarge is a four. All right. So we're going to have Doc. You need to go take a break. Sarge, I need you to 
come treat our Thrumbo here for a little while. Doc, um, I understand that you really need some sleep, but you also really need something to eat, and that is going to bring your mood up quicker than something like sleeping will. So you get something to eat, then you can go to rest. Spider has gotten in sick, sick from an infection. Ah. Where is your infection? In your front right leg. Okay, well. Oh, you got two infections. One in your lung and one in your leg. Severe blood loss. Eh, yeah, well. We'll see. If we can keep you alive, we will do that. If not, then... Oh, well. Doc is the only one who's going to get a negative uh, mood buff from that. And then we'll have Thrumbo meat and Thrumbo fur to sell. Or eat. Not necessarily in that order. He has an artery blockage minor. And another infection. This is why you need good doctors and medicine. Alright, we have a medieval merchant caravan. Fantastic. They'll probably have some medicine to sell us. How's he doing? Still, he's at 71%. Yeah, with all the infections he has and all of that, we're just going to, uh, we're going to take the medical experience that we got for this, and we're going to put him down quickly. Like I said, Doc is going to get a little bit Bonded animal died. It's only a negative eight. Not a big deal. Red shirt immediately running off to chop that thrumbo up. I really would have rather she waited a couple days, but that's okay. Probably doesn't have a skill enough to do this in bulk yet. Yeah, still only a six, so... Unfortunately, we're probably going to lose some of this Thrumbo meat before she can get it all turned into jerky. So, who's our best social? We have a social 7 from Doc. And yeah, we're going to wake Doc up and have him go talk to these folks over here and hopefully he'll get some joy. Bond animal's death. Yeah, I know. Doc is going to be a little upset for that. Alright, what do we have here? He doesn't want to buy any of our meat, except for the jerked meats. He doesn't want to buy any of the thrombo meat. That's unfortunate. But he does have a lot of herbal medicine. Now, if only he would have came a day sooner, we probably could have saved that thrombo. But for next time, hopefully the next time a thrombo shows up, it's a female and a male, and we can tame both of them. And then start making thrombo babies. It takes a very long time to raise those. All right, we have no silver that we started out with, so we're gonna have to sell some stuff. So I'm gonna sell all of my jerked meats, since we have a whole bunch of thrumbo meat. She can just spend the whole next day or two making nothing but those. And I'm gonna sell all of these wood pitch glues, because they're in tremendously easy to make. And I'm gonna sell this last one too, and that'll bring us even. And I think we will close the deal here. I'm gonna hold on to all of my leathers, and I'll tell you why, because I found it's better to build furniture out of leather and then sell the furniture because later on, especially once you start getting like masterwork furniture, it's worth a very large amount of money. And we'll accept this trade because we are at zero, which is fine. You're building an embrasure. I really would like you to go get some joy. You're in your sleep schedule, so you're pretty much able to do whatever you want. Yeah, you're gonna just go right back to sleep. All right, that's fine, you can do that. Can you haul in this thrumbo horn before you go to bed? Great. All right, so we at least have this done. I can't right click and prioritize removing a build roof area, so I can just deconstruct all of this now. Like so. Yeah, there you go. And I want to get a concrete door of some sort. So we'll go with the limestone. We'll go right here with the limestone door. And we have ballista. I need to get one of these up quickly. I think 
we'll put one right in front of each of these doors. We'll start with two. They'll, they'll get them built faster than if we go for all three. We're gonna get the door done right away. That's good. Oh, Doc, how you doing? You really need to get some joy. Yeah, relax socially. Do whatever it is you want to do. You you don't have to work today, honestly, if you want. Ah, oh, see, bonded animal died is at a negative 8 still. I thought I saw it at a negative 10 for a second, but... One season, four days. Yeah, that's going to last quite a while. But it's only a negative 8, and right now we still have a positive 15 because we are poor. At least in their eyes. Although, yeah, we are kind of broke. Uh, what are you doing coming into the base here? You're just wandering. I don't think this will attack anybody. I think he eats plants. We have 252 blocks. We can finish... Uh, hold on. Let's wait until the finish building the uh, ballista here. And then we're going to deconstruct this wall here and finish building that out. Right, he's going for the steel now. Oh, the... Uh, who is working on... You are working on that. This is sitting out here like this. I don't like that. We need to put herbal medicine inside. Manufactured medicine. Why don't you put all the medicine inside there for now? And Julian, come pick up this medicine here. Still jerking meats. That's good. I know that sounds wrong, but all right, you're gonna relax socially. Yeah, you're in the middle of your joy, but now you need your sleep is scheduled. Oh, it's an eclipse! Ah, it's ten o'clock in the morning. I thought it was in the middle of the night still. Hideous environment. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that uh, it's gonna be like that for a little while. We will work on that. All right, we have these built. Fantastic. Let's deconstruct this all. Trade caravans leaving. That's fine. going to build a limestone embrasure across here. Weak stew has rotted away in storage. Alright, well, that means we don't have any stew and we have a lot of meat that spoils in one day. Can anybody else cook at all? One, a one, a three, and a two. No, nobody else can cook at all. All right, I know you're a uh, night owl and everything, but I'm sorry. You need to wake up and prioritize making this bulk stew. And as soon as you're done with that, you can go right back to bed. Should only take you just a minute to do. The embrasure should be built in just a minute as well. All of the resources have been delivered here, so I'm going to deconstruct all of this wooden wall. Can you prioritize getting that wall out of there? And I will build a limestone door and wall up to here. And the eclipse is over, so now we're no longer looking like it's nighttime. You have a minor risk break. What's wrong with you? Hot and a little pain. Naked? Oh, uh, you don't have any pants do you now? How about we make you some suspended trousers? And I believe Sarge is our best tailor, so I'm going to have Sarge go do that. Alright, you have made all of the stews that you need. You're going to eat some stew and then you're going to go to bed. Alright, fantastic. Sarge is going to make some suspended trousers. And we will have someone that is no longer naked and that would make them much happier, I believe. I need to get these deconstructed before they get destroyed. As soon as we get this wall built, I think we will do that. We have some components here, but I don't really... I don't think I've built anything yet that requires them. It's going to be a while before I even need to. I would really like to start moving some of this production stuff over. The stonecutter's tables, I can't move. I can't move most of it. I'm going to have to deconstruct some of it, but we can move this forge. I'm put the forge there. And as soon as these are done, which they are almost done, I need to...
clear your priority. All right, that's it. That was just the one bill. All right, that's fine. I don't want you working on disassembling things or something all night. Oh, Doc, you're stargazing. All right, I just wanted to make sure you have a bed and you're not sleeping outside in the cold or hot or whatever it is. Oh, uh, it's actually kind of warm. All right, we're delivering some resources. You need to get to sleep soon. Why did you only carry two? I don't like when you do that. You will never do hauling. You're consuming some stew. Have you been getting... You're probably going to get cabin fever if you don't leave. I hope Red Shirt is at least going outside to get some joy. Otherwise, she is going to get cabin fever. She is joy-filled. Joy -filled. Well, she was joy-filled like a second ago. And she does have the night owl at night, so... As long as we keep her on the right schedule and we don't have to have her awake during the day for fighting purposes, she'll probably pretty much always be in a good mood. Getting some cooking experience here. That's great. I'm going to let her do this last one. And then I'm just going to have her run outside to grab like this wood or something. Like I said, I'm worried about her getting cabin fever. When she's done cooking, she should go to growing and stuff, but we don't really have the need to grow a lot right now. We can't grow heel root, or we don't have the time to grow other things, so we're going to rely on meat and such for right now. I mean, we do have our little rice, and we have our strawberries going right here, but we don't have a whole lot of skills, so we need to get those skills up before we can get, well, anything else done. Uh, we have some braziers. These are basically lights that go off of wood. So we're going to put a couple of them in here. They last a pretty long time on one supply of wood. And they're pretty cheap. Just a little bit of steel. We got our blacksmith table moved over. Still doing the meat here, are you, Red Shirt? You're going to be doing that until it expires. Spoils in less than a day. So that is good that she is really working towards that because we did get most of the thermo meat down. I am quite impressed with that. Probably only because we made some stews. In fact, why don't we pause that and why don't you get to working at the food prep station and just use up as much of that meat as possible. Weak stew has rotted away in storage. That was a good time for that. Although I think we'll probably be using mostly rice to make the weak stew. And if not most, all. Oh, there we go. We did use some meat. Although now she's down to making one at a time, so I'm going to clear her priority and let her go back to doing the jerky. Alright, we need somebody set at a one in hauling all the time. And I think I will do that with our newcomer here. Because these torches are only going to get filled by somebody with hauling, and only if they don't have anything else to do. Where are you going? You're stone cutting. Alright, that's good. You shouldn't ever really be idle. You're going to sleep because it is morning, and you're probably in a bad mood just for being awake. Still an ugly environment. We probably can start working on that soon. We're getting some extra blocks made up. Oh, we had a cargo drop. Marble blocks. Interesting. We might use those for floors. We're probably going to get attacked very hard here soon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're going to get attacked very hard here soon, I'm guessing, because it has been a while since we've even gotten any kind of attack. There's a bear down here, although he has plenty of other things to keep him occupied. There's a cougar down here, although, again, plenty of other things. Hopefully we don't have much of a reason to leave our colony. Well, we have stone cutting going on, so there's that. All right, if, if that's what we're doing right now, if we're prioritizing stone cutting, let's go ahead and let him get that one in. Sarge, as soon as you're done with that. Yeah, you got this block inside. I'm happy with that. Why don't you guys deconstruct these tables? 
all right you're deconstructing that and I already have the stockpile started over here so I'm going to place them over here one two I think that's just a little bit of steel, a little bit of wood, not a big deal at all. The research benches as well can go. Shoddy stool, that can go. Awful stool, that can go. Now we can't build a stool on the blacksmith's forge, but we can build a stool on the tailor's bench and most of the other medieval buildings. There's just a few of them, like the forge, that you cannot. For some reason, like it has the uh, the little circle where you stand, and you can't place any object there. And if you place it here, he's not using it. So, but like I said, it's just the forge. I think construction failed. Oh, boo on you! Oh, good stool. All right, so you failed the first one, but the second one was good. So, all right, fantastic. So we have enough limestone blocks I think we can just have them do any blocks now forever we have a pour and a pour and we're not gonna worry about the quality of any of this stuff until we have a bunch of extra cloth and we can make a bunch of extra chairs then we're gonna keep the very best chairs for ourselves in the beginning and sell all the crummy ones all right so number meat has rotted away in storage no big deal we I think there was only like four of it left, so that's pretty good. We do, however, need to rebuild the uh, simple research bench, whatever you want to call it. And I think we'll put it right here, so we can have everybody kind of sitting in a line on this spot right here. We are going to build a separate kitchen, so I will put all of these buildings in their own little area. But we're going to slowly, I think, deconstruct. Well, we'll wait. Yeah, we can do it now because it's the middle of the night, so you really should be in bed. Although you probably went to bed really early because you were really tired. So everyone looks like they're waking up a little early today. So we can go ahead and start doing this now then. I'm going to replace all of this with limestone from the inside. So we don't have to worry about leaving a hole open or anything like that. Getting some horseshoe throwing. That's fine. I, I like to keep the horseshoe pin outside. And we will build a little outside area for that. That way, if you go and throw horseshoes, at least you're getting guaranteed outside time at some point in the day. Less likely of your people getting cabin fever. That can be a serious debuff if you don't keep an eye on it. It's really easy to get away though. Even if it gets up to serious cabin fever, you can just let them outside for like a second. Draft them, take them outside for a second, and it's gone. Julian, you must have the very worst construction skills in the world. Ah, eh, five. Strong amateur. Construction is one of those things that goes up pretty quickly though. I'm gonna get rid of the last of these little wooden structures here. We're not going to put that door down here. We're going to put this one up here. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. That's fine. And this way I didn't have to worry about any roof collapse or anything like that. Although I did forget this one and this one. Right, as far as where I want my kitchen, I probably want my kitchen right about where this corpse bonfire is. So I'm going to deconstruct this. And I think, uh, let's see here. We go to production. The blacksmith smelter. That's the one I was talking about that you can put a bench on. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the smelter over by where we have the blacksmith area. And we're going to put the... We're gonna put a little steel stockpile or something over here as well. I'm gonna give him a stool. We're gonna build a copy right here. 
And I think with the blacksmith smelter, we can melt down these wooden plates, which sounds a little weird, but instead of melting it down, I guess you probably just chop the wood back up or something. I, I really don't know. Maybe for splinters. It would be good for firewood. That would be ideally what I would use my enemies busted up wooden armor for. If you can't use it for anything else, you can always burn it for firewood. We have a lot of things that require a little bit of wood. See, one season, 13 days for these braziers. They last quite a long time if they're filled up to full. And we're gonna keep a pretty good wood stockpile. In fact, while I'm thinking about it, a stockpile zone Oh, right to, let's see, we want to make a door here. Why don't we go ahead and do that now? I want to make doors in all of these places, and then we will do the stockpile zones in the middle. So we're going to do the stockpile zone for wood right about here. We're going to clear everything from it, except for raw resources and wood. And then we're going to do a stockpile zone same except we're only going to put steel and plasteel in there and done now we will go to bills smelt metal from armor here we go uh, do forever the details we're going to again 50% or below gives them a debuff anyway and I really kind of want to sell the excellent and masterwork stuff because even if it has like a 49 if you know I don't want them to smelt 49% masterwork uh, golden pants or something because those will obviously sell for a lot more than that gold is worth so that's good right there 50% up to excellent we're also gonna do smelt metal from a weapon do forever we're gonna lower this one to about 30% Awful to excellent. Alright. And then we're going to go again to weapons. Do forever. And we're going to take ranged weapons out completely. We're going to go to the melee weapons. And we're going to take my favorite weapons out. Such as the bearded battle axe. And I don't know how you would say this. I guess gasarm? Gasame? I don't know. I could probably look it up. And there's one more, the medieval longsword. Those are my three favorite weapons. They do the most weapon or they do the most damage per second. Yada yada yada. Every other melee weapon smelt it. All of them. And the other one, the other build is really just for ranged weapons. But I want to keep or I I also would like to sell or smelt any of those favorite weapons of mine that are below a certain percentage. They're not useful to me, we can make those weapons ourselves, so why would we want one that is shoddy and 50% or below? I mean, we don't want something that's going to fall apart literally in the middle of battle, and some of these battles can go on for a pretty long time. So we are working on this over here, finishing this off. Getting these doors built in, that's good. Getting the stockpile set up. Looks like people who have nothing to do are starting to move resources, and that is good. Alright, well we are going to take a break here. I uh, appreciate you watching. Hope to see you next time.